Hey guys, this is Chaos Maelstrom here. And Campark Fire 4 once again. Yes, uh, we still can't get rid of him. <sighs> you think you're gonna be able to get rid of me that easily? Just, just watch, the people in the comments are gonna be saying, like, that guy in the background is annoying. Anyways, um, here we are, and so we just, uh, found the secret path, and are we going to take the secret route? No. Oh, but I like secret donuts! Doesn't matter, we're going to this stage instead. Donut Plains 2, and we get into the part of this game that I hate. Yoshi! No! Oh, don't worry, he'll be fine. We get into the part of this game that I hate. Auto-scrolling segments! And apparently this game hates me for hating auto-scrolling segments. Why do you have to be a fan of... See? Told you he'd be fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute! You went off screen, he should be dead! Yeah, well, he ran into something and ran back. See, I'm experienced at this game. Stop running away. We're just about to lose him again. Anyways. How better you are than me. Anyways, auto scrolling screens. I hate them. Because they are annoying. But you know what? This stage isn't too bad because early in the stage there was a shortcut that can take you right to the end of the level. And plus in that shortcut is the area that waits the secret le uh, secret exit. So, what are we going to do first? Well, normally I would take the normal exit, but for this one, there is something that I really want to get from the secret exit. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, no. Okay, good thing. My practice playthrough, I got squished there. So, yeah. Don't let that happen to you. Anyways, ignoring everything here. And... Ta-da! 26 star points. Star points? Jeez, feel like I'm pa playing Paper Mario. Right, well... Uh, uh, 69 points! <laughs> I don't Sorry. get it. what's so special about that number. I don't know. Uh, oh, right, that cleared the path to that. Okay. Wait. Oh, crap, I took the normal exit! I, I lost focus and I took the no Okay, well, that doesn't... That doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's just go here again, and I will meet you guys at the area where uh, we uh, went through that pipe. Same thing I should mention, if you go real fast, you can get through that, uh, part with the sponge crushier thingy. Yoshi! He's right here. Oh. Uh, okay, fine then! Jeez! And we're back. Screw you, Yoshi! Yeah, I lost Yoshi back there because he decided to be a total moron. Anyways. He ran away from us, he doesn't love us anymore! Uh... Oh, looks like I got that key the uh, easy way, but uh, I will show you another way. Or that—that that was actually the hard way. Uh, yeah, you can hit that uh, with this shell down here if you're Big Mario, or you can f try to try some other way, con convoluted way to do it as Small Mario. But anyways, here we got the key, and there we go. Teleportation. And this takes us to the Green Switch Palace. Thank God, I've been really wanting this. You know why? You know what? I don't care about the extra one up down there. I'm just gonna go through the pipe here because I cannot wait any longer for this. And so we go through here and can I land on it like that? No, oh well. The green switch blocks. Same thing as what the yellow switch palace says, but unlike uh, the yellow blocks that drop mushrooms, these ones will drop feathers. You understand those are my favorite power-ups in the game, right? So that means we can fly whenever we see one of those. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now we can have secret donuts? Nah. Aww. No, instead we want to go to the Donut Ghost House. Um, I'm trying to find some way to make that sound tasty, but ghost donuts really don't sound too tasty. At least it's not as bad as ghost poop in Lego games. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Uh, we'll get to that story in a minute, okay? Uh, so anyways, do we want to go this way? No, this is a very, very, very secret up here. We go this way. Anyways, so what camera was talking about by Ghost Poop? Uh, we played Lego Harry Potter before, and, uh, you use Sir Nicholas as the guide in that game. He shows you where to go. Anyways, you, you drop over down here, and you get a lot of one-ups. This area is hidden really well, and for good reason. So anyways, uh, there were these, uh, screw you too, boo. No, it was, uh, you see, he'd follow you around and he'd, uh, drop these, uh, studs that you can pick up, and, 
Well, you can only pick them up if you had a certain cheat activated, uh, but they were worth a lot, and we just made up jokes about how it was ghost poop, and... Ghost poop, the most expensive of all studs! Yeah, anyways, so we get here to the top secret area, which is very hard to find. What do we find here? First off, Yoshi. Lasso. Second off... Who gives a damn about those when I can have my caves? Alright. Uh, Points don't matter in this game! Say that like I'm supposed to know that. Points stop mattering in game games after the Atari... Thing. Atari... Generation! That was the word I'm looking for. Anyways... Um... So now we shall go... Not here. I want secret donuts! You'll have to wait for your damn secret donuts, okay? It's not fair. Uh, we'll, we'll take the... This the proper exit this time. Anyways, can I fly through these ghosts? Apparently, the ghosts don't want to let me fly through them. This is a no -fly zone. Okay, well. Anyways, you could technically fly and get out of this part, but I will show you the way you're supposed to go. Cause I'm not like that. Normally, if you hit that block, a P block, a P switch would come out of it. But you want to go through this door twice and then hit the block. That's what causes this vine to show up, which leads you to the exit. Ta da We could have just flo flown there, but that really wouldn't have done much. Yeah, anyways. Bonus game time! Alright, let's see what we got this time. Can I screw up as badly as last time? And it looks like I'm gonna screw Don't even try it! Oh well, I still got two. Well, I, I'm bad at these types of games. And do the B-pose. Right. Anyways, so after that... Ta-da! Here is the Donut Plains 3! But do we want to go here? Actually, no! Because now we're finally going to give Cameron his pa reward of patience and go to the Donut Secret 1. FINALLY! Okay. Oh, I just said your name. Okay, and Rip Van Fish. They wake up when you when you get too close to them and chase you. Anyways, these two enemies. Yeah, the, those two enemies back there that Yoshi just ate are practically the exact same enemy, and you will always get them confused. Except the one that, except the latter one of those two will sometimes uh, jump out of the water in certain levels. Anyways, we hit this block, and good thing I found a magic balloon. It makes fun of itself. True. Good thing I found the magic balloon! And what was the point in him finding that magic balloon anyway? So we could animate a fat Luigi. True. Anyways, one of these blocks has nothing in it. Another one has a one up. And let me get this dragon coin. Anyways, something I forgot to mention a long time ago, and you guys are probably going to be yelling about it at me about it for a lot. Dragon coins! You pick what? You pick There are five hidden throughout the level. Usually five or more. In some levels. Um. This is, yeah, you pick five up and you get a one up. And uh, more one ups after that. Anyway, should I go for the secret exit in this one or the normal exit? No scales, no stops. Because I can't. I, I, I could do the... I mean, I want to get both. I could do a save state because I'm on... Yoshi! Okay, tell you what, if I can get to it like this, then I will show the secret exit. And it looks like I'm showing the secret exit. Anyways, you have to get there before that piece. You can take the piece switch over here if you don't think you'll make it in time. But, anyways, the key's hidden in there, and boom! Yeah, you can swing with the piece switch over here, and this takes us to the donut secret house. Hmm. Uh, no, they only sell HMO3 there. Get it? Because it's a secret house. Okay. Anyways, I will cut ahead to the normal exit for you guys. And we're back, guys. Uh, just letting you know that uh, the fire flower is completely useless underwater because... You know what? Why am I even carrying this piece, which I already got the secret exit? 
Uh, actually, I think it's because you swim faster while holding objects, ironically. Anyways, that's the secret exit down there. Uh, anyways, Fire Flower is actually not too bad in underwater segments because it allows you to snipe some enemies uh, below and to the right of you from a distance. Anyways, uh, I, I should have mentioned. You can walk up here and there's a dragon coin hidden up there. Anyways, and kill this fruit fanfish, and onward to the gold. Uh, let me try to get the 50 points for this one. I doubt I'll do it though. Oh well, at least I touched it. No, no, you can miss it sometimes. Okay. Anyways, so uh, we're going to end things off here. This takes us back to the Donut Ghost House, and next time we will take on the Donut Secret House. See you guys next time. Waiters.